Alright, so we are now back in Jufer Town, so let's head over back to the Granite Cave, shall we? Alright, so we're back in the Granite Cave now. I want to spray a red bell because I don't really want to come up uh, against any low level Pokemon, you know? Like that, there we go, and let's ride our bicycle, ride our bicycle in here! Oh, it's that girl again. Sinia. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, seems like it's true. It really is just like the wall painting there. This one shows primal reversion, while that one shows mega evolution. Guess that proves it once and for all. Our great ancestor once lived here too. The ancestors to pass down through me the knowledge of how to protect the world. How to avert the threat that will appear from space, as long was foretold. From a place higher even than the heavens. Mom? What is it, Esther? Oh! We do seem to meet an awful lot, Emma. Well, this is only the second time we meet. Are you also interested in this old painting? Or are you here for the other? For one of the meteor chi meteorite shards that can serve as a source of power for the legendary Pokemon that lives in the heavens above. Either way, you know I adore you. That's it. I can't help. I can't help it. I have to battle you. I'll play nice though, and that's first. You're ready to battle me, right? Yes, I am. That's my boy. Now let's do it. Give me a good taste of everything you and your Pokemon have to offer. So here we go, the fight against Sinia. Oh, she's going to use a Tyrandrum. Okie dokie then. Well, I <laughs> I guess uh, I got four up front, which is definitely not the best option, but Tyrandrum, level 55. So definitely want to switch out of here. And I think that Metagross is definitely going to be the best option for this one. And I really like it, Tyrandrum. I, I, I used one back in Pokemon X and uh, it's a very good physical attacker, so... Oh, Earthquake! No! Not our Metagross! Whoa, that did- Okay, it was because it was Krigalit. Anyway, let's actually use our Mega Evolution here. On Metagross, because of course, Metagross is our strongest Pokémon! But there we go! Now you're ready to fight! Show that Tyrantrum who's the boss! With your meteor, meteor mash to the face! There we go! Good job, Metagross! And next up, she's going to have an Altaria! So, I think I actually want to bring in Bubbles for this one. I don't know if the best option would have actually been the same with Metagross, but... You know what? Bubbles needs some action too. I really like Bubbles, as I've said uh, previously. Let's just play off Moonblast! Oh, that shouldn't do too much damage, actually. Yeah, that didn't do very Come on! Come on! How did dare you avoid it? It is- the Moonblast isn't actually stabbed, but uh, as I mentioned previously, Altaris Mega Evolution is a uh, fairy type, so then the Moonblast would have been stabbed. But anyway, another Moonblast incoming. And then another Play Rough incoming as I got 69 HP left. Okay, okay then. Well, I don't- I don't got 69 HP anymore! Anyway, last up on the roster is actually going to be Herd Solomon, so... Kinda wanna stay in, uh, stay in on Bob- with Bubbles. But also kinda wanna switch out here. I know Barb has Hidden Power Ice, so... I got to try that! Barb didn't see any action at all in the Pokémon League, so... Kinda wanna get her some action too. And she's going to intimidate me! While I go for a Hidden Power Ice! There we go, let's see how much the time is done. Okay, that's a little bit over half. I'm actually pretty happy with that, but a Thunder Fang! I'm not happy about that, but one more hidden power should take out the Solomons. There we go, good job, Barb, you did something useful. Very good, Barb. Yes, that's it, that's just what I was looking for. Nice! 
Real nice, Emil. Oh, I really felt that one. Full points here. That sounds it. You get this meteorite shard as a reward. Yay! We get it as a reward! The glittering, the glittering meteorite that you got there. Hmm, it's sure giving out some vibes. I'd keep a tight hold on it if I were you. Along with that shard I just gave you. Hey, the actions that you're taking now, are they based on the ideals you cling to, or are they based on actual truths? And if they are, how much of the truth do you think you know? Mom? Yes, ma'am, I'm moving out! Such a spoiled girl you are, Esther. So what will be our next stop, mm, sweetie? Emil, were you able to find a meteorite shard that we need? If you were able to secure it, could you hurry back to us at the Moss Deep Space Center? I'm afraid we don't seem to have much time left. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so it looks like we're heading back to uh, Moss Deep City! And we're back in the Moss Deep Space Center. I just wanted to be over here by the little sign here or get my head completely blocked off by this flag. That doesn't even have a nation on it. But just a Pokeball. You must be Emil. Mr. Steven Stone told me he was expecting you. This way, please. <laughs> Professor Cosmo, if I may interrupt you. I am ill. Thank you for coming. And you brought the, the meteorite shard with you. Well done. I was rather surprised to learn that you knew the professor. You really do seem to make connections everywhere you go. Now then, professor, could I ask you to explain once more about the current plan? Indeed. Please come this way. I imagine that you've heard some of the situation from Pre President Stone already. Our current plan involves using the infinite, in, infinity energy within our rocket, combined with the life energy of humans found in keystones. We will start off by artific, artificially replicating the massive energy that is triggered at the time of mega evolution. We will fire the energy produced from our rocket into space and create a warp hole. By creating a warp hole in the path of the incoming meteorite, we hope to be able to transport it somewhere far away from here. As a matter of fact, this technology already exists and has been incorporated in some of our commonly used devices. If you know what I mean, those panels are spinning about and then out you come, warp to another spot. Imagine you've stepped on a few such. An audacious plan, and using such technology, you would. May I ask, may I ask where exactly the asteroid will be warped to? Well, we're not entirely sure, but we do have a device that links, links the warp holes. We named it the Link Cable because breaking the fourth wall. But there's no need to worry. Based on our theory, we can at least guarantee that we will be sending it away from our planet. However, we realize that we only need more energy than originally anticipated to control the Link Cable properly. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but with one more meteorite chart. Nice! So this is the heart of the famous space center everyone talks about. Pretty impressive, uh, Esther! Mer -mer -mer. Excuse me, young lady! Can't just you let yourself in here? Oh, what's the harm in it? Don't be such a stick in the mud. Right? Uh Who Who are you? You're no sus you're no sights here. Oh me, do we we do seem to keep running into one another. You're a busy boy, Emil! Who, who are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm Cynia, just a regular old tourist, nothing more. Dreaming of taking a little trip into space. <laughs> Oh, I see. So this is what has come of human technology, and of hope and blood and sweat and tears and... Well, it gets kind of long and boring, but it contains everything, huh? I know all about it. I was just what kind of energy you're using to fuel this rocket thing. The abo abo abominable technology humanity first thought of 3,000 years ago. So you're once again planning to claim that this is best for humanity, or best for the whole darn world. It's a snap of your fingers to repeat the sins of the past. Worse, if what I overheard is true. 
This time we're about to commit an error more abomin abominable than before. Tell me, would you rather we sit here wringing our hands, waiting for a meteoroid to strike us? Aha! What's up with that? You're a pretty simple guy for a former Pokemon League champion. Then I guess I'll hang my hopes on what our current champion will have to say. So how about it, Emil? What do you think? Do you have some better idea? Uh, you bet I do! I got nothing. Oh really? Well that's promising. You'll have to tell me so we can see set these guys straight. Look, I'm not here to criticize the way you guys are looking at this, but I want to be sure you thought this through well and good. You know, there are necessary sacrifices, and there are unnecessary sacrifices. What a disappointment! This is the best you could do with all your knowledge and technology? Instead of trying to make something out of nothing, you'd rather repeat the mistakes of the past straight up. No, you're gonna add new mistakes on top. That really takes the cake. You guys need some imagination. Whoops! But you were all in the middle of a conversation or something, right? Sorry about that. I guess we'll just let ourselves out then. Come on, Esther. Boy, that senior woman was definitely giving us a hard time. Who was that woman? And the way she spoke to us, it's almost as if she came here for some kind of confirmation. And yet, I feel as though I should know her from somewhere. Over the rainbow. Ah, Professor, forgive me. I believe we are trying to tell us something before that woman interrupted us. Ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, you see. In order to complete the war pole, we will need another meteorite shard, an extremely pure one. Then should we head to Grand Cave once again? No, the kind of meteorite shard we need this time can only be found at Meteor Falls. Meteor Falls? See, perhaps we will learn something there. I will head to Meteor Falls at once. Paula, as soon as you are ready, I feel we might discover even more than a meteorite shard there. That is my feeling too, uh, I, I, I gotta admit Steven. You're not the only one that have a, have an intuition for these kind of things. But anyway, how many? How many? Straight launch number 36. So anyway, let's head to Meteor Falls. Oh, what? What? Oh, a Taylo! I didn't actually know that you could encounter Pokemon Oh, level 40 Taylo. And I didn't even know that you could encounter Pokemon uh, while you were up soaring in the sky. I didn't even know that. Well, the more you know, I guess, the more you know. So, we're now back in the Meteor Falls, and I'm guessing that we're going to have to go over, up, up, up. Over the waterfall, or into the waterfall, I should say. So let's go ahead and do that. So I guess at some point we actually had to come to the meteor fall. So didn't even really need to do that whenever I got uh, whenever I got waterfall or defeated HM or whenever I went on my giant collector fan. But anyway, see. yeah, I can hear you, too bad. I can hear you. Don't you worry about a thing no more. So of course we fought every trainer in here, but I kind of want to go up here and see if there's anything, yeah. Anything new here. No, no, didn't actually want to use the Eon Flute, and I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Whoa! You yeah, know, so that was definitely a big sneeze. Anyway. See? Don't know if there's any hidden items here that I missed on my first visit, but that could definitely be the case. Oh, I guess there. I guess there. Oh, yeah, it's it's definitely a hidden item in that rock over there. You need anyway. Let's see. Do we have to? No, there you are, Steven. I was kind of wondering if I had to go into the back of the meteor falls. Emil, we have the meteorite shark, and I've come to understand many things as I suspected might happen. Allow me to introduce you. The honorable lady you see before you is a descendant of the ancient Draconoids. Draconids. Yes, I am one of the Draconated people. One of those ancient folk tasked with passing down the knowledge of Mega Evolution with the great lord of Lord Rayquaza. What's the beginning of all? Since times long gone, Hoenn has repeatedly suffered great disasters. 
times the destruction took the form of a huge meteoroid which fell upon our land from distant space. At other times, the primal reversions of our own super ancient Pokemon brought us to the brink of destruction. Each time, Lord Rayquaza has saved us from doom. The chosen Lord Keeper, standing before a stone that shone with rainbow light, offered up a wish to the Great One. And Lord Rayquaza's body was suffused, suffused with a brilliant light and transformed. In this transformed state, Rayquaza's power was more devastating than ever before, overcoming even the super ancient Pokemon with all their primal power. A rainbow colored stone, an in in invocation from the Lord Keeper, and a Rayquaza unlike, unlike any ever seen. I see, it does resemble that we know of the process of Mega Evolution. Yes, it does indeed. A Pokemon, a person, a stone of power, the bonds that tie them all together. The transformation of the Pokemon that occurs as a result of this phenomenon was called Mega Evolution by later peoples. So the mechanism for Mega Evolution was discovered as a result of the first meeting between humanity and Rayquaza. Hmm, but I have one last question. That Lore Keeper you spoke of. Lord Keeper is the one who has inherited the knowledge and power to summon Lord Quasa when disaster imperils this world. The true Lord Keeper of the current generation is the one called Sinia. The disaster that now approaches our planet, as it has twice before. Sinia has been trying for some time to avert it, in her own way. To draw L Lord Rayquaza to our sphere, she joined a certain organization that sought to revive the Super Asian Pokemon. She taught them the secrets needed to bring back these threats and summon the great dragon itself. Now he seems to traverse the land, scurrying the world for keystones. So it was true. As I suspected, that woman who appeared at the space center was one of the dragonids. But I never dreamed she was involved in the attempted revival of super ancient Pokemon. In full knowledge of the power they held, fully understanding the terrible changes they would wreak upon our world, she still helped bring that situation about. Did she give a fault to the many people and Pokemon whose lives were put at grave risk by her actions? Could she accept the inevitable sacrifice of so many lives in order to protect the planet from the coming meteorite? Well, I guess she was talking about uh, needed sacrifices and unneeded sacrifices. And I actually, I accidentally actually hit the 3D uh, switch here, and it kind of just switches the screen around when it's in 2D. It's kind of strange. Balance must rule this world. History is doomed to repeat itself. While our pl people have overcome many disasters in the past, it was always through great, great sacrifice. Yet we have continued to struggle to preserve peace for as many years as we can. That is how we have protected this world, upon which we now live. People, Pokemon, all nature, and yes, even you. I do not know exactly what you plan to do, but do you believe that you are not sacrificing anything for your own protection? Sinia will follow her convictions until the very end, even knowing the sacrifices that, that they will require, even if the sacrifice blade is leveled at her own heart. Is that right? I understand. Thank you for everything. What is this? This vague sense of apprehension, and my intuition has often proven true. I'm going back to Rustboro first, I have to go back to De Devon. But what do I do? Uh, well, Steven is heading back to Devon. I don't really know where I'm do going. I guess I'm heading back to Devon too, I guess. Yeah, because I don't have anything better to do, I guess, so... Uh, let's just go ahead and do that, shall we? <laughs>